everyone actually here in power bi we have whole set of text dax functions out of that what we are going to look into is those which are most commonly used right so what could be those right so as per my experience like concatenate substitute left right mid functions are something which are very very frequently used right and also some, sometime lower upper etc so let's jump to the power bay and try to understand the uh, these functions along with the help of some examples okay so let me take you to the power bi directly so over here i have this power bi and here what you see is first name and last name now let's say if i need to have a column which is full name right not separately so for that all that i need to do is go on over here either column tool or home tab and from there you can just cl simply click on the new column and just let, let's just have a new column created over here which i am going to say let's call it full name right and over here i'm going to use concatenate and uh, concatenate is nothing but combining two columns together right that is what it is so which two column i want to combine is first name right and then the next one is last name that is it now as soon as you do this here you are going to have the full name created all right full name is created the only problem is this both of these two are too close there if there is a space in between that will be more helpful right so what you can do is in the first name itself or just put ampersand and within double quotes just put one space right and just hit enter and here is what you are going to get exactly right so this is how you can create do the concatenation in power bi now let's understand uh, the left and right functions as well okay so for that matter again i'm going to create a new column and let's say this is the invoice id like you can see this is combination of three set of numbers so initial one let's consider that is the machine id and out of this whole i want to fetch the machine id which is nothing but the first three character right so for that purpose i can let me just show you right over here i'm going to say machine id okay and over here i would use left and which column i want to extract the machine id from that is invoice id invoice id and how many characters are there three characters so primarily what i'm trying to say is start from left side and extract three characters only that is it so as soon as you do this and click on this button commit here is what you are going to get so like you see the machine id is created same way if you want to create uh, let's say last four digit is nothing but the receipt number so if you want to create another column which contains only receipt number then uh, what you can do is you can just take click on the new column again and let's name it as receipt receipt and over here you need to use write function because we have to start from the right hand side okay and then again i need to use i need to do this extraction from invoice id only and last four character i need to fetch so here is what i got right all right we got it now you must be thinking okay left right is fine what if i want to take something out from the from any of the place right for example i want to take this the two digit which i see is see in the between or let's say i want to pick this two digit right this one and eight six and nine so how can i do that so for that there is another function which is called mid right so i'm going to create another column with the name i'm just going to say id that is it right and uh, because i'm running out of the name right so i'm just going to say id and into that i'm going to use mid function and then the column from which i need to do the extraction is invoice id now if you study the syntax it says what at what position you want to start it with right from whatever you want to extract at what position it starts so let's take account one two three four five six seven eight it starts from the eighth position so that i need to put over here eight then it says how many character that you want to extract so starting from eighth position i want to extract two characters which is one and eight right so i just need to give two and the moment you close the bracket and hit enter over here you are going to get that part you see so this starting from eighth and ninth value which is 69 
18 1 5 etc so you can extract the value from any i mean you can extract any piece of information from a text right now let me give you another example for example i want to have an invoice id without this hyphen how can i do that so for that there is another function which is called substitute so i'm going to create another column which is called new invoice new in voice right and over here i'm going to use the substitute function into that again i need to put the column on which i want to perform the substitute so that column will be for me invoice invoice id and then it asks put give me the old text which you want to substitute the old text which you want to change so what is it that i want to change i want to change this dash or hyphen right so i just need to put that into the double quotation I just gave it over here. Let me make it a little bigger. Now, after that, it is asking instead of this dash, what exactly that I that you want to put. So instead of that, I want to put nothing. So just double in within double quote, no space, right? Just close the bracket and hit enter. Now, what you would see is whatever we are going to get over here, that is absolutely solid number without any hyphen right so this is how you can use the substitute function now let me show you very very quickly let's say if you have first name all uh, in this letter now if you want to make it all in capital letter how can you do that let me again make a new column over here and i'm going to say up name up name and over here i just need to use upper function and here i need to use whatever column i want to bring into the upper case all right so here you see everything is converted into the capital letter same way if i want to have this name a all in a small letter how can i do that so for that all that i need to do is i can create a new column let's say low name right and over here i can use lower function and into that let me just use first name or you can use any column inside that right and you're going to have it all over here all right bravo so this is it in this video these are the very frequently used text functions let me know into the comment section what are the functions that you use or what sort of text operations that you have to perform and you are struggling with into the power bi let me know that into the comment section i'll definitely make a video on that this is a very very interesting segment thank you for watching once again wish you very very good